Well, we just finished using up some anchor seal, putting on the logs that are behind me, and now headed to the hay barn. Soon we'll be putting hay in the barn, but currently out of the weather. Yeah, the sun's coming up this morning. Let's see if we can get out of the sunlight. Well, my new sawmill has arrived, and uh, the HM130 Max by Woodland Mills. So we're gonna go ahead and start unboxing the sawmill. So stay tuned. Woodland Mills HM130 Max sawmill, band sawmill. It comes on, as you can see, two different pallets. It uh, includes the trailer. It includes, I'm looking at the box that says track extension. It'll be able to do a 16 foot, five inch log. That's the max length. But uh, let's go ahead and start unboxing uh, this new piece of farm machinery. I'm gonna call it farm machinery. It's a lot of the old days. It was the uh, farmers had sawmills. about uh, 55, 60 degrees today. It's been hot, so it's finally cooled down. This pile here says it's two of two, and this pile here says it's uh, one of two. I don't know if that means anything as far as how to unpackage it. But uh, Woodland Mills customer service. Got to give a shout out to Brenna. Great customer service there. Let's see. Not sure. Track extensions. I guess I need to cut some more tape off of here. This is the toolbox. So if you're wondering what the toolbox looks like, heavy steel. Just about 
all you know all of my tractors have toolboxes. Uh, my four wheeler that I use here on the farm, it has a toolbox. But I always need somewhere to put this stuff. Let's set this out of the way. This is the HM130 Max Sawmill Tow Board. Now the tow board, if you're trying to level the log on the mill to get dead center of that log, if you're cutting the beam, um, trying to cut out the pith, that's heavy duty. So they make it so you can put a socket on here or use this somewhat of a jack handle to crank this up or down and it will fit inside of the rail system, okay? So we'll set this aside. So this was the track extension. And let me get on this other side. And I'll probably have to uh, hook to the trailer and pull this trailer out and we're going to build it right here so we'll be in the shade all day. Need to stop and get me a, a drink of coffee. I think I'll set this back behind the camera. All the nuts, the bolts, um, what I'd like to do is keep all the trash in the box. You do have the instructions in the box as well. So if you're needing to add on, might as well keep my pocket knife out. Because what I'll do is lay everything out before I start putting this together, keeping in mind this came out of Canada. And so your nuts and bolts will be metric. 
So make sure you have some metric tools on hand. If you don't, hopefully uh, you can find a friend or uh, any more tools are quite inexpensive. Inexpensive enough that you can just go back buy you a set for your toolbox. Matter of fact, it was a few years ago, my three kids, and I knew as a young person with my automobile, I needed to have tools in my pickup truck. This also came with the leveling legs, but this will be on a, a trailer application. I don't think I'll ever take it off of a trailer, but always on the farm, I can always use extra parts or something. So let's set these aside. Let's see. Get everything there. Because as you have seen in the previous videos, <clears throat> I'm guesstimating I've got uh, hickory logs that weigh right around 3,000 pounds. Now it'll be interesting how I figure out how to get a 3,000 pound log up on this mill. That channeling iron is heavy duty. That's everything out of there. Then, next, we have a pack of 10. Let's see if I can stand this up. That's your sawmill blades. And I told Brenna, I said, it's mostly what I'll be cutting is uh, hardwoods. So also it's got a sticker here that says, don't forget blades have an oily coating that needs to be wiped off with a rag before installing them on your sawmill. Call, it's got a phone number here. It says for tech support, if you got any question. Also says, as a reminder, always wear gloves when handling blades. All right, so let's set this aside. And this is the Woodland Max Trailer Extensions Log Loading Ramp and Winch Kit Woodland Max Trailer. 
All right. Now what I think I will do is go ahead, shift this box over to here, get to the trailer on the bottom, and get started with that. I have to say, this company has done a fantastic job of packaging. All right. I think this is an important piece to the trailer is the ramp kit. Yes, I've got a tractor that I can use for loading logs and all of that, but I may end up being in an area that uh, that it'll be tough to use the tractor. Check out the foam right here. There's the instructions for the ramp. Well, I was just looking at my cell phone and it's battery's dying. I only take and charge that thing uh, when it finally needs charging. They, the way they talk about the batteries, if you charge them too soon, then messes up your battery life. All right. Once again, heavy duty. <clears throat> the mounting kit. Oh my gosh, look at the steel on this thing. This is the winch kit.
this around. Can't wait to put this to work. This is the bracket that holds it down inside the frame of the trailer. <clears throat> Incredible foam packaging. Now, something I want to tell you about winches was years ago, I've got a Suzuki King Quad and put a winch on it. And looking at, you could get your wire cable. Uh, no, they didn't call it wire cable. Wire rope. Rooster, take a break. And when I was reading about this kit from Woodland Mills, and they said that they used the synthetic rope instead of a wire cable. <coughs> this rope instead of a wire cable, I said they knew what they were doing because that cable starts to fray if you've ever used a winch. And you'd always have to use gloves to work with it. And then the little wires break. And then you get one jabbed in your hand. And I said, this is well worth the money here. So, so check out the ramp kit when you go to order your sawmill. All right. Here is the Woodland Max. Co-op, go find something to do. This is the trailer. I think what I'm going to do is uh, pause the camera and go get the John Deere tractor hooked to this, pull this out so I can lay everything I need right here on the ground to put this trailer together.
Now, as a farmer, many of you may know that yes, I uh, repurpose just about everything on the farm. And the reason I'm telling you that, these metal cages that this stuff comes in, I'll think of something to do with them. And when I do, I'll make sure that I share that information with you. All right, folks. There it is. Tires. Your operator's manual. Probably the instructions in there on how to assemble this thing as well. Your light kit. It will be uh, uh, in Tennessee as far as a trailer. We don't have to license a trailer, but we will be able to do that if found necessary. Also in here, what am I looking at? Oh, here's the ratchet straps to tie the power head down into place when you're transporting it. But uh, we'll pause for now. Let me go get the tractor, pull this out, and uh, unload it and, and set all the pieces into place. And then I'll grab my metric socket sets, my uh, power driver, uh, power ratchet, and uh, We'll go ahead and spend the day assembling. Thanks for tuning in.